Hello, this is David Harper of Bionic Turtle, continuing a brief series on foreign exchange risk. For FRM candidates, I continue to use Anthony Saunders, who is assigned for foreign currency exchange risk. And this is the third step in our thought process as we review the alternatives for a hypothetical bank. And recall, our bank is based in the U.S., and funded with 200 million in deposits that are denominated in US dollars. So I'm not showing that source of funds, which is liabilities on the balance sheet. I'm only showing assets here. And so 200 million is the source of funds in US dollars. Our bank decides to invest half of that or 100 million in the US. That is to say, it makes loans to people or businesses in the United States. So that's the same currency and so far we don't have foreign currency exposure. The other 50% the bank decides to invest abroad in England and make loans to British borrowers. And so without any hedges the bank introduces foreign currency exposure. And specifically we saw the problem is it could cut both ways but if the bank starts the year at this spot currency rate of say 1.6 US dollars to British pound sterlings and then if the foreign currency depreciates against the dollar to a dollar 45 that's going to automatically offset or erode the returns on that foreign investment so just to show that graphically the problem with the baseline again the baseline is the unhedged balance sheet is here the bank takes the hundred US the hundred million in US dollars Con it's converted at the spot rate of a dollar sixty to sixty two point five British pound sterlings and then let's say those loans made abroad in England do perform as expected with a fifteen percent return so the sixty two point five grows at plus fifteen percent to seventy one point eight eight British pound sterlings. So far so good. The 100 US the 100 million US dollars, that's one half of the source of funds, remember, are converted into British pound sterlings, invested invested abroad and they do perform as expected abroad. So far that's a plus 15%. However, over that period, the British pound sterling depreciates against the dollar down to 1.45. So those British pound sterlings are translated or converted at the end of the period to only 104.22 million US dollars. And so what happens is the foreign return of 15%, the loan performing as expected, is reduced all the way down to a net return of 4.22% due to the currency depreciation. That's the unhedged balance sheet. Balance sheet. We of course saw that it can work both ways. If that foreign currency appreciates, then this will, this return will outperform the 15%. We saw that one thing the bank could do is on balance sheet hedging. So here's the 200 million in liabilities funded with US dollars or funded in US dollar denominated liabilities. We saw that on balance sheet hedging is when the bank decides to match those investments, those assets with its liabilities, at least in regard to the foreign currency exposure. So in this case, the bank knowing it's going to invest 100 million abroad in England funds one half the liabilities also in the same currency. And we saw that acts as an on balance sheet hedge because here into the same scenario where the foreign currency is depreciating down to 1.45 on the asset side, which I'm not sure currently showing, same story. The after we translate that foreign loan, we do have a lower return, but it's offset by the fact that these liabilities also experience an erosion and their cost of funds is almost zero. So the liabilities are moving in tandem with the assets. That's under the on balance sheet hedging. Finally, what the bank can do is off balance sheet hedging and that is to say here the bank is at the beginning of the year spot currency exchange rate is 1.6 US dollars per pound sterling and it looks it can look to the forward currency market and let's just say 
I'm using Anthony Center's example, and he applies a 5% discount. So let's just say the bank can look to the forward market and enter into a forward currency contract to buy or sell currency at a guaranteed rate here of 1.55 US dollars per pound sterling. See how it's a little bit discounted off the spot currency exchange rate at the beginning of the period. So now the bank doesn't do anything on balance sheet. Instead, it enters into a forward currency contract. And specifically, it's going to be the forward seller of British pound sterlings. And so it's the other person on the party on the other side of the transaction is going to be the forward buyer of British pound sterlings at this forward rate. And so the difference here with the off balance sheet hedging is that as before, the 100 million in US dollars is translated into 62.5 British pound sterlings. The loan performs as expected such that at the end of the period, there is 71.88 British pound sterlings. So here's the difference. Before on the baseline, the unhedged bank had to convert those British pound sterlings to US dollars at the spot rate of, at the depreciated rate of 1.45. Now, the bank, having received the proceeds from this loan, 71.88 British pound sterlings, now gets to deliver, having sold forward the British pound sterlings, deliver against the forward contract at the agreed upon exchange rate of 1.55, and the other party in the forward transaction has promised to deliver, having promised to purchase British pound sterlings, has promised to deliver 111.41 US dollars against the British pound sterlings. And so the bank has effectively locked in the foreign currency exchange rate of $1.55. Although remember, it did this with the forward contract at the beginning of the period. So it really doesn't matter what happens to the spot rate in the meantime. And this means that they have produced a return after currency conversion of 11.41%. And so notice we've done this all here on the asset side or really specifically with the off balance sheet forward contract didn't need to change the liabilities so that's the off balance sheet hedge in regard to foreign currency exposure this is david harper the bionic turtle thanks for your time